Hi guys, I'm Andrew from Cruise Master, and today on Cruise Master Class, we're going to be talking about how the ADRs and the Australian standards affect the legalities of the height of your coupling. In the Australian light trailer market, there's mainly two different types of couplings. There is the 50 mil ball, and then as the ADR describes them, other couplings or pin type couplings like our DO35 and DO45. ADR62, which is a legislative document which affects the couplings, tow bars and draw bars on light trailers, calls out these two different couplings and their performance requirements. On other couplings, pin type couplings is relatively straightforward and it's laid out specifically in the ADR. For 50 mil balls, it actually refers to another standard, Australian standard 4177, which is specific about 50 millimeter balls. The AS4177 originated in a European standard and has been adapted to Australia, so it, there are some slight differences in it. A lot of that requirement comes around the limited um, articulation in the 50 mil ball couplings. Now the main thing that we're going to talk about today is how it impacts the height of the coupling when your trailer is attached to your tow vehicle. AS4177 says that a 50 mil ball coupling, the center of it, has to fall between a range of 350 millimeters and 460 millimeters when measured to the ground. When measuring that, that is on level ground with the trailer connected to the car. Now it is quite a low height, but it's something very important that we need to measure. It's also important to note that this height requirement applies to both fixed type 50 mil ball couplings, as well as the so-called off-road versions which are articulated. It refers specifically to the ball, not to the coupling type. So that's very important to note. So let's head over to the car over here and I'll show you how those numbers are measured. So here we are at the back of our Cruise Master BT50. Now for ease of showing you these dimensions and how they're taken, we're going to be doing it without a trailer connected to the car so we can actually get in here and measure something. So this measurement is taken on flat ground as we are now. We're aiming for approximately the center of the ball. On this one, we're sitting about 670 millimetres from the ground. And for reference, that's 210 millimetres higher than the Australian standard calls out for that 350 to 460 millimetre zone. So I doubt that the springs would deflect high enough in the back of this car in order to achieve getting the ball into that zone. So we'd need to be looking for another option. Now, just to show you the articulation limits of the 50 mil ball, I'm just going to grab one and chuck it on, and I'll show you that. So here we have the 50 mil ball coupling connected. So in the pitch direction, it's pretty limited. And in the roll direction, it's very limited. So you can imagine if you had a very low car and a very high trailer, you could potentially have a few problems. An alternative the other way, a very low trailer and a very high car, you can see the limit of articulation. Now, in those cases, you can run into issues where you start putting extra stress into the tow ball, into the back of the car, and in some circumstances, you run the risk under very high loads of popping the, uh, the coupling off the ball. So the pin type or other couplings uh, don't have this issue. We have a lot more articulation in the DO35, so let me change this over and I'll show you that. On a DO35, we reference now roughly the middle of the bush here as the center of the ball height. And you can see we're sitting about 665, so very similar to where we were with the 50 mil ball. Now let's chuck a DO35 coupling on. Now the important thing to note here is the DO35 locking mechanism is very positive, so it can't pop off without shearing the centre out of the plate. Let's put the cap on. Now with the articulation with the DO35, it has lots in pitch, so you can get down gunshot with that. And then downwards you've got lots of articulation angle, and then in roll, we can go 
all of the way around 360 degrees. So you can see that the DR35 is not restricted in its travel like the 50 mil ball coupling. Now to give you an idea of what the regulation height looks like, I'm just going to move this trailer forwards at 460 millimetres. Now bear in mind that we're still going to be using a DR35, so you just have to use your imagination there. But you'll be able to see at how low these regulation heights actually are. For reference, the centre of this pivot here is roughly about the same as our ball height centre on the DR35 toe pin. So this one we have managed to get down to 460 millimetres, which just to remind you that is the highest point that a 50 mil ball coupling can go to. So you can see there we'd have to drop this quite a long way in order to make this legal. Now if the tow vehicle is the problem, then there are solutions like drop hitches and things like that which we can get it in the right place. However, for trailers like this, you know, and this is a relatively simple um, demo trailer, but it's set up at roughly an off-road camper trailer height. Um, you can either run it like this, which can cause you some towing issues, or to level it out, you'll need to use a pin type or DO35 coupling instead of the 50 mil ball to get your level set up correctly. So there you go, hopefully you now understand a bit more about AS4177 and the ball height regulations. If you have any questions or concerns, the best thing to do to start off with is to grab your tape measure and head out to your rig, connect them up and see what that ball height is. If you need any more information on the DR35 coupling, check out our Cruise Master website and you'll find heaps about it there. Now the last thing to note is if you are picking up a new camper trailer or caravan, you want to make sure that you know what all those heights are going to be before you go and pick it up. If nothing else, just to make sure that that pickup process goes nice and smooth. Also good to check out with the dealer to see whether they got any drop hitches or things there in case we didn't get it quite right in the pre-planning. If you want any more information on couplings and ball heights, please call our customer service team and they'll be happy to help you out. And finally, if you want any more videos on Cruise Master products and things around the trailer industry, make sure you keep an eye out on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram to make sure you don't miss out.